boy, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to grab that final orb, yeah? Here we get, well, I say that, this isn't the final orb. This is the second to final orb. Oh God, what is this? Don't tell me there's more I gotta do before I can get the blue orb. Was that Serena? Did you say something? Serena's gonna be cold. Hmm? This outfit is not good no. for winter. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. I'm really hoping that we get the blue orb and that that voice talks to us again and says, Come here and I'll just give you the last orb totally free. You don't have to do any quests or nothing. That would be cool. The rainbow glows brightly. Let's get in there. Hello, Dingo. You're the first boy in. Is it the ice witch? Is she talking to us? Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm a fool, then what are you? What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Serena's outfit yes, is did. too spicy to be going to meet the queen. Hmm. Something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the queen before anything else strange happens. What I can't figure out is if only Veronica is hearing the voice. Or if my guy is hearing it too. Is it the queen? Is the queen evil? She's for sure. She's for sure evil. The plot twist is that defeating the ice witch, the replacement queen is still... She's still evil. Hello, Capra. Excellent. You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. Is she gonna press a button and then we're gonna fall through? Huh? Huh? We're gonna fall into like a secret trap door if we come closer. Now, don't go, don't go closer. Don't do it. <gasps> it's the book. The voice is coming from the book. She's got the scarf on. That's how you know she's evil. Please, you have to listen to me. I am the real Frisabelle. The woman in front of you is the witch. We already, we already did this, though. What do you mean? What? Ridiculous. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Did we just beat up the the witch last episode for no reason? Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. Oh my god, Veronica. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. That doesn't even it's sound crazy. half believable. That sounds fake as fuck. Paused She's in the middle lying. of it. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Okay, but take your scarf off, though. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I... Snorri. Just take her scarf off. She's gonna have a really I obvious wound. one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frieza. Why are we doing this again? We just beat up the witch. Do I have to do another boss fight? Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. This doesn't seem like a like a thing. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be? But it's gonna be like so valuable. The citizens, right? Hmm. The orb, you say. Very well, very well. It's gonna it's gonna be like the fountain, now right? Then, Come on. What is your answer? The true treasure of yep. Sniffelheim is its people. What, what, am, what am I chat? Am I like twenty for twenty on just guessing the story like seconds before it happens? Use my magic powers to determine this very, very complex and deep script. Precisely. 
The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. Okay, so... The real am I going to have to beat her again? Is the one in the book. I kind of don't want to, you know? No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh my god, dude. Oh yes, very queenly. Why is this happening? What does this serve? In this, is Veronica gonna get to beat her up? It's. Did they forget that we did this cutscene last stream? Did they just forget? Okay, fine. Clearly, you're lying again. You're not surrendering. You're just gonna blast me with magic or something. Did the ice switch do that? Did she just let her out? I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. Oh my god. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. What a bummer. Take her to the dungeon. Why? Why would you not murder her immediately? If you bring her to the dungeon, she's just gonna recoup her powers and like, Wait. I don't know, an out. Are you? Your Majesty. Are we really gonna just let her go? Doing? Are we just letting her go? I swear to God. Thank goodness they're letting me walk a couple steps. That's gameplay. Queen what is Frisabel, this? Please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. I'm gonna be real. I shit on Snorri a little bit, but he's he's the only one with half a brain cell here. He is the only one Everyone rubbing a brain listen cell. To me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. Yeah. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. She's just... She's known for lying. That's her thing. What do you... The time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. Ooh. <laughs> truly at last. We had a conversation, guys. She's not that bad. She likes dogs and painting. She's really not that bad, guys. She's not a threat to us any longer. We must... Let her live. Ooh, wow. No, we shouldn't. Veronica, light her on fire, please. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Why not put them both in the dungeon and put Snorri in charge? How about that? That seems like a way better idea. Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, your majesty. Oh. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. I mean, I wouldn't say gladly, but, but sure. Sure. Where is Crash so I can make fun of him? Did he show up? Is Crash here? Where is he? There you are. You told me it would get better. Why did you freeze Sniffleheim in the first You. <laughs> oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. Yeah, she was just willing to freeze an entire civilization just, you know, as a favor. I was trapped in that dusty, sure. fusty library for a horribly dusty, long fusty. time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Make fun of ironic. Three months ago, he appeared. He took I blame him. Crash is too pure. And spoke to me. You. <laughs> All of you. I will You're making me do this. Prison, but you must do something for me in return. Oh, no. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me mm. and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? Alright, so the Heliodor Knight let her go. You must That's why. Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. Oh no, he tried to get Hendrik killed? I mean, he's kind of a dick, His but it seems a little Hendrick. rude. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. Uh huh. So I did as he asked, and when the great hero arrived, 
I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. That's not a bad move, because if he killed the big beast, beast, you know, she'd get her powers back, but if, if the guy died powers. to the beast, then she still did it. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Hendrik, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? I do like that Rab does just all of the talking. His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Maybe describe his physical appearance. That would be useful. Maybe we should ask for that. You know? Because how many people are going to have that, that pendant and then also look exactly as she describes? Probably not very many, I would imagine. Thank you once again for all you have I detest done for Frizzabel. The orb you. is yours as you see. Give me the fucking orb. Let me get out of here. Pooba receives the blue orb. You bet I do. Either tell me where the next orb is, Frizzabel, or get the fuck out of my goddamn stream. The kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? I'm sh it's fine. The treasure is their people. Yada yada. The treasure is my people. Yeah. Well, okay. if you insist. Best of luck with all your royal duties. Veronica gets to talk because she's sassy in the front. Get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Free Sabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. Okay, they're gonna have they're gonna have sex, and there will be two queens, and that's fine with me. You know, more power to them. But please let me get out of this disgusting area. Man, I was having a good time. I liked Sniffleheim. I thought Sniffleheim was a fun place to be, but the story really took a huge shitter right at the end there. Once again, another another <laughs> example of this game giving me a good time, and then immediately I start the next stream, and it just, it's just like, hey, you want me to shit in your mouth? Open up. Open your mouth. Let me just shit inside. Oh, look, hello. Time waits for no man, but we have a plan. It may require a caravan. <gasps> Tickety tick tock. Why, if it isn't the luminary, I was just indulging in a spot of singing. Helps to lift the spirits, don't you know? Allow me to pass on the password I found. He tells me the password, and then we get to leave. Bye, little guy. Very cute. Just a goofy, silly mood. For Isabel forgiving Crystalina like that is weak writing, but they are cute together. They're alright. I don't like Frizabelle. I'd rather Crystalina end up with literally anyone else. What's this? An elevator, you say? Interesting. Fun fact, at night you can find the two of them having hot drinks with each other in one of the buildings in town. They're for sure. They're for sure gay married. Where am I? Is this the dungeon? This looks like a spooky kooky dungeon to me. Ooh. Hold on. No, I don't have the I don't have the key to get in. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Seed of sorcery, that's pretty good. I mean not very useful for me. Do you think I could turn Poobut into like a legitimate mage if I just like pumped him full- Savvy Sapphire just pumped him full of seeds of, of sorcery. I feel like I could. Male monsters killed on sight. Women monsters forgiven of sins. I mean, we forgave Vince. I, you know? Never thought about it this way. Of course. Women, women monsters in this game, they don't even- it's not even that they get freed, you know? Like, they get to go home. They get to have gay sex after, too. Sniffleheim is a peaceful peaceful place, but every so often someone will break that peace, blah blah blah. That's where we imprison people. What a what a complex labyrinth for a prison. Just like long tubes with elevators. Octagonia was like an underground-ish type of kingdom, and they didn't even have this much going on. Alright, let's get the heck out of Sniffleheim. So how many orbs is that? I'll have to check the inventory and see. I think we're I'm pretty sure we're missing one. I don't think this is the last one. Items, important items. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're missing one. Alright. Well, I'm sure one of our companions will have some sort of suggestion on where the heck we're supposed to go now. I'm sure once I walk out of here, a cutscene will play, and Silvando will speak up and tell us that he found some sort of... Th nope, I guess this guard will do it. There's a young man with blue hair loitering by the city gates. I wonder what he's doing there, waiting for somebody, maybe. Oh, is it Eric? 
Is it Eric who's going to tell us where to go? Is he going to do something useful for once? Oh yeah, there he is. Hey, Eric. What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So? Man can't even stand around one? without women asking him what he's doing. We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. And yet you didn't immediately explode her with your fire magic. What's Terrible. Wrong, Rab? Where are we going, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. Hilidor's got like three knights. Probably. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? It's probably one of the like three court <laughs> court knights that they have. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We have a tree of life to be getting to. All right, Rab, where are we going? What's the move? Come on, you horrible lot! This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Egdrasil. I'm ready. I don't see it, but I'm sure it's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. This man's got porn mags in his bag, too. Rab just remains the best character in the game, definitively. Oh! Leave him alone. He's old. Crevins. <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Put it away in your bag. Ooh, it's fine. Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Yeah, dude. The big cum spell. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. It isn't in a Akira Toriyama product Sir without, Rab, you know, being caught red old porn mags. And red faced. Leave him alone, Solano. It's fine. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. Oh. Leave the man alone! What's your problem? Everybody here is a bunch of fucking pearl clutching prudes. Yeah, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. That is pretty funny. <sighs> My goodness. The articles, I tell ye. You've entered into the bag. By the order you get them, you can just press the organize option. Oh, all right. Here, let me do that. That'll make this a lot easier. Awarded for finding the porn book in Rab's inventory. Wow, what a great achievement to have. Alright, sort by type. Uh, so that should be all the orbs in order. Alright, five orbs. Oh. Really, Tony, please organize your important items. Alright, let's see. Why does he need porn bags? Silvando is right there. I mean, yeah, but your imagination can only get you so far. Sometimes a man needs some visuals. And as much as I'd encourage him to, to you know, maybe sneak a peek at Salvando while he's in the shower, you know, that's not consistent viewing. Alright. Now that all the cutscenes and shit are over, I can I can check in with you guys and see how you're all doing. How's everybody doing this evening? Are we all doing well? I would hope so. Uh, looks like we're taking a big old big old journey. We're gonna go down south a bit. You guys all doing well? I'm doing okay. I'm excited for this stream. Because we should be getting the last orb, unless it's going to be like a really complex dungeon or something. But I'm hoping we can do it. Men in fursuits, you say? Easy, says I. Alright, let's see here. Take out the griffin. Wow, that didn't actually take out the griffin? Alright. They're a little beefier than I originally thought. You guys may have noticed that Serena has a new outfit. I don't know if anybody pointed it out in the comments. Probably not. You guys are, you know, really good at not pointing out <laughs> characters are in new outfits and they look very slutty. Uh, but no, seriously. Uh, I picked up Serena's outfit from... God, where was it? Galopolis? I ran around to all the stores and just checked to see if there were, like, funky fresh outfits in there. Galopolis was the only place I really had luck. So, now she gets a, a sexy, fresh outfit. Which is pretty cool. Does that make her 
Anything more than the most boring companion in the party? Nope. She's still really boring. Sula Algarum. I just wanted to check this place out. That way we'd have a uh, location to teleport to. Let's see what's here. It's a cute little island. Gapper pointed it out. I'm fine a tad nervous for my driving test tomorrow morning. Ooh. How many times have you failed? Be honest. It's okay. I failed twice. I talked about that before on the stream, but I, I failed my driving test twice. It's a tough thing to do, right? Any little thing and you, you know, you're, you're out. It's tough, uh, but I wish you luck. If it's your third time, then, you, you know, third time's the charm. It worked for me, so I'm sure it'll work for you. If it's after your third time, then you'll get it. I'm sure you will. Doing fine, says Ironic. We need a slutty outfit for Rab. God, I wish. I'm alright, I'm engrossed in Rogue Legacy 2 right now, and a few updates dropped in its fire. Same, I failed my driving test in the most embarrassing way. I legit froze in the middle of an intersection. I failed the f first time because I didn't, I didn't run a stop sign. But what ended up happening is that I, I pulled up to a stop sign and it was a four-way. And by some fucking strike of unluck, another, like, two people pulled up there. And I I had forgotten that when you pull up, you know, it's, it's, it's based on order, you know? It's based on order of who gets there. If you get there first, then, like, obviously you get to go first. But if two people arrive at the same time, basically one person arrived before me, right? So I let them go. And then the other guy had arrived there same time as me. And I went before him, and he was to my right, and technically you're supposed to let the guy to the right go first, so I fucking failed on the spot there. Did the whole rest of the test perfect, didn't even- I asked, I asked, and I did the rest of it fine. According to the fucking instructor, but I failed the stop sign thing. So I was out right there. Which fucking sucked. Having to do the rest of the whole fucking test not knowing that that one little mistake basically cost me the whole thing. I even did the parallel parking pretty good, and that's like the hardest thing, you know? I almost passed on my first time, and this is my second. Should be okay since the time of day doesn't warrant much traffic. Oh, for sure. As long as you don't have to deal with- that's the thing, the hardest thing is having to deal with stuff that's completely out of your control. So, hopefully there's not much traffic and you don't deal with fucking two dickheads pulling up to the same stop sign as me. Then you'll be fine. Just tired as always, wanna play Valkyrie- Valkyria Chronicles. I've never played one of those games. Let me see. I'm gonna get the horse here. So we need to go get the last orb. I'm not sure where that last orb's gonna be, but it, it was telling me to go this way. Let's go to the academy. That seems that seems like where we should be going, I would say. Just because I haven't been there yet. Let's this way, this way, this way. Oh, no. It's this dirt road over here. Let's get you moving. If it's not up here, I'll just like talk to one of the party members. I'm sure they'll tell me what to do. If anything, having a teleport to the academy is probably useful. It's the, the mini metal symbol. The mini metal uh, academy. Last orb is in the eerie eerie. Alright. Well, I'm already here at the academy, so we might as well at least see what they're doing. Uh, oh, they have monsters here? At the front gate? That's suspicious. They just let anyone in here? Are they gonna sing a song? Also, one of those monsters is a... Neath the branches of the birches, daffodils sway and swing. They're not even gonna sing it? I have to sing it myself? Absolutely not. We're not doing that. Absolutely not. That's that's just low, shoddy production value. We're getting out of here. We're going straight to the eerie eerie. Let's get moving. Probably should turn in those medals at some point. I've turned in a few medals, actually. I think I, I found another one recently. Hold on. Uh, we'll zoom over to, um... 
I'm just gonna go to Puerto Valor because I there's a little mini metal lady over there. I think I only need to turn one more in and then she gives me like a helmet or something. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna be real, a lot of the teleport locations are ever so slightly frustrating. Puerto Valor, if I zoom here, should just drop me pretty much here. Just center of town. Why does it drop me over by the gate where I have to then walk like 10 feet? I know that sounds like such a minor gripe, because it is, but when I have to do it like 80 times and every location I teleport to in the game is like that, where it's forcing me to run just an unnecessary distance for no time. There we go. The Hermes hat. I hope it's an outfit hat. Felicitations, Poobot, for collecting 10 stamps. You've earned some magnificent reward of a Hermes hat. The next one's a staff. Uh, when you reach 20, you'll earn a, a staff. Okay. Let me check this hat out. It's probably... It's an agility hat, so I should probably give that to you, right? Oh no, it's got charm on it though, which means Jade probably needs it. Oh yeah, for sure. Much better on Jade. Oh wait, hold on. Absolutely gotta keep her in the bunny. The bunny fit, for sure. I didn't know that the mini metal exchange was there. That's the only place I knew how to where to turn them in. Uh, until I found that academy on the map, I just never you know, headed up there, obviously. I wonder what happened to Valkyrie Chronicles 2 and 3. They ported 1 and 4, but not any others for some reason. I don't know. Don't ask me who decides what game companies port over. Why is Persona 5 available, but I can't play Persona 3 on Steam? That's a real fucking crime right there. Maybe it's because it has those kids shooting themselves in the face, and that's a little... That's a little not great these days. Anywho, let's, uh, let's take a look at the map. Map menu... Local monsters, map of nearby areas. Now, let's let's zoom around. So the eerie eerie, you say. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where that even is. That's probably back by where we where we just were, yeah. Let's see. Page two. Sniffleheim campsite. Let's go here. You gotta wait a little bit for the liberals to accept kids shooting themselves. <laughs> liberals trying to take our guns away. If you all voted red and we got to keep our guns, then we <laughs> we would have got Persona 3 on Steam. That red wave didn't happen the way it was supposed to. That's that's why. All right, the eerie eerie. Yeah, it's all the way up there. Okay, all the way up this way. I can probably just. Yeah, where am I now? Nom nom. We'll go down to the academy and then we'll go south and then right through there. We have to wait for Persona 4 Golden to come to consoles even though it's already on Steam. If only they would consistently port things and put it on everything like at vaguely the same time, you know? Like how a normal video game company does it. That would be kind of neat. I would love that. That would be uh, that would be extra cool, I would say. Hey, it's a metal slime. Finally, one of those things that I can farm for experience. That's kind of neat. So give it to me straight. Give it to me straight, guys. Is this going to be an easy one or is this going to be a long one? Sniffleheim only took like you know, not that long. Oh, I completely missed that item there. I didn't see it until I was already falling. There we go. Ah, Sniffleheim, you know, took like a full stream for me to do. But the ruins and everything else, you know, getting the other orbs, that only took like five seconds. So I'm curious if this is going to be a five second orb or if this is going to be a full stream orb. And then we get to go to Yggdrasil. So let's see here. The Eerie Eerie is... I gotta zoop down that way and then... Is this going to let me... No, it's not going to let me. Without a mount, certainly not. This way. Here we go. This is going to get egregious, says Capra. Eerie Eerie doesn't have a storyline tied to it, so it's relatively short. Okay, good. That's, uh... That's a good thing. You know, seeing this enemy around... Oh, where'd he go? He just completely ran away. 
Do you guys mind it when boss fights are immediately used as enemies? I... I don't think I mind it all the time. I think it's a little annoying to me when an enemy is a boss fight and then is immediately a regular enemy. Dark Souls 1 had a pretty okay way of doing it, where the boss fights at the beginning became enemies at the end. But that was also definitely due to laziness. Well, not laziness, but time constraints, and they needed to cut corners at the very end of the game. That's why the last quarter of Dark Souls is kind of a mess. It's not as great as the rest of it. This guy being around kind of frustrates me, just because I, I literally fought him and then immediately he showed up as a fight. I wish maybe he would show up later, and I'd be like, hey, I remember fighting this guy at the beginning of the game, but, you know. Ugh. Not having an actual open hub is going to suck, though. What if we put ten Tauros demons in a big blob to protect one item? So smart. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, I don't mind them using the Tauros Demon at the end of the game, because by the end of the game you get down to where the demons are coming out of. It's thematically, like, very fine. But just sticking ten of them, and they, they don't even, like, wander around or have any reason to be there. Enemy placement in Dark Souls is pretty good. Like, if an enemy is in a location, you're, you, you're like, oh, this is why this guy is here. But those Tauros Demons are just really standing around doing jack shit. They're just standing all in blobs around like one item and it's usually something garbage that's not even worth looting it, it really is quite quite bad uh the way that they do it even if thematically i like it I, I don't like the way it had to be implemented wow i'm really gonna be climbing this thing for a long time i don't like when bosses are regular enemies unless it's thematic or like the boss is a super sauced up version of an enemy hmm. i guess that's fine like if it was done in reverse you know where you fight a common enemy, and then maybe at the end of the dungeon... I don't know, they just inject him with super duper sauce and he gets really mad. You know? Gets really big and strong. That's fine. I don't mind that. Especially if the plot is, like, relating to that sauce, you know? If the plot is like, oh man, figure out why all these enemies are really strong all of a sudden. It's because they're taking some super sauce steroids. Like, that's fine, you know? Then I could fight a big enemy at the end and feel like that's, that's like, earned. Because it has a thematic purpose for why it's like that. Condor's Crag. Okay, so if we go left and then we loop around this way. Oh no. That's not gonna work. Oh, oh wait. No. I see. I can fall down from that way, but I can't go up that way. I see. Let's get moving then. If the boss is generic enough, sure, but if it's really important thing, no. Hmm. Some bosses in Wind Waker are clearly just souped up versions of smaller em enemies, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, but that's... That's Wind Waker, though. That's why it's cool, because Wind Waker is a great game. I had a friend who uh, absolutely hated Wind Waker. He fucking despised it. He told me he didn't think it was fun, he said it was a bad game, and he didn't know why people liked it. And then I, uh... And then, years later, after me telling him that the game was really good, Years later, he ended up playing it, because it got re-released on the Wii U. Uh, and I figured out why he didn't like it, originally, when he played it. He came to me and told me... I was all wrong about this game. I was all wrong about this game, and I just figured out why. And I was like, oh, why is that? And he goes, I didn't know you could change the wind direction. And I was like, excuse, excuse me? And he goes, yeah, so... I didn't know that you could use the Wind Waker to change the wind's direction. So I was just sailing around and just like whichever way the wind was going, it was the way I was going, right? And if I went like one way, if I needed to go against the wind, I just I just did it. And like one and and and, and one time it took me like 4 hours to get somewhere. And that's why I hated the game because I just thought it was supposed to be slow. I thought you couldn't go wherever you wanted and you just had to go where the wind told you to go. And I thought that was stupid. <laughs> uh, and I laughed at him. I laughed at him, and I think about that a lot, actually. I think about that quite a lot. <laughs> I, you know, I explained to him that they have a, a pretty... It's not even, it's not a hidden tutorial or, like, the game keeps the information from you. 
The Wind Waker is the name of the fucking game. They're pretty clear about what the Wind Waker does and how it works, and they force you to change the wind. The game requires you to change the wind when you immediately get the fucking Wind Waker. So... <laughs> so I was like, how did you miss that? And he was like, I don't know, maybe I just... You know, maybe I just played the game and then I put it down for a little bit. You know, just like forgot. I was like... How, you know? Like, it just, it just, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. But I, you know, I laugh at him a lot for that. It's also funny, too, because Zelda is, like, one of his favorite series of games. He loves Zelda. You know, he plays Zelda games all the time. Loves Breath of the Wild and, and, and shit like that, but... Let me see here. I want to go up. But it only... Oh, okay, here we go. This looks promising. 5,000 coins, that's not bad. Ah, oh, I was hoping I could jump up that way. Okay, I need to go... Uh... I think... No, it's telling me to go this way. I see. I need a different monster. Thank god. Uh, I guess we'll dismount then. There you been a little while since I've used this guy. It's just one demon rider. I'm honestly going to be surprised if he survives that. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's about what I expected. Cool. Gallop up there. I think it's a little frustrating I have to press the A button to, like, climb up the wall. I wish I could just do it by just looking at it, you know? So uh, let's skedaddle down this way. Yeah, we'll knock that down. Cool. I figured there was some way we could loop it around. Finds a recipe book called Electrifying Equipment. Probably stuff that gives me electricity or like paralysis, which is pretty cool. I won't fiddle with that just yet. I want to get us to the top of this eerie. I will say the Wii U remaster is so good though, it did so many quality of life improvements. It makes the fucking wind. Makes the fucking wakes the wind. Jesus Christ! Can't read today. I've never played the Wii U version of Wind Waker. I really should. I I mean I love Wind Waker. I played the shit out of it on the GameCube. But then I'd have to like use my Wii U. My Wii U was used to play Smash Four, and that was it. I don't think I used my Wii U for much of anything else. I really. I really did not like my Wii U very much. I joke about it all the time with my friends. It re it's just like... Sometimes they'll remember a good Wii U game and I'll be like, Oh man, sorry guys, I only play good ga good consoles, you know? Like the Ouya. Why play the Wii U when you could be out there ouya it up? I kinda, I'm kind of i kind of sad, because I know there's eventually going to be a period in time in which people forget that the Ouya is a thing, and I'll reference it, and then they won't know what I'm talking about. And that's a little depressing, you know? I feel like everyone should know about the sins. The original sin, that is, the Ouya. <laughs> the Ouya is the original sin of... of thing. Wow, another one of these? Bu build better birds' feet. I don't want to have anything related to feet. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Oh shit, can I climb that? Can't climb while mounted. Okay. Maybe the orb is just gonna be right up here, and it's gonna be super easy and fun to just snag it. Before we even go up there, though... Four vials of magic water. Before we even go up there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna handy heal everyone. Just, uh, just... Wait, hold on. There. Make sure everybody is actually healed. Can I pick up the mushroom? I can't. Are you gonna fly away? Car, what are you doing here, humans? If you're thinking of feathering your nest with my treasure, you've got another thing coming. Car! Oh. I'm... Every enemy that I've killed on the way up here has been, like, relatively easy. Yeah, he hits... Yeah. He hits for 38. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. Let's try this starburst throw. Let's see how much this does. Heads up! 
That's like 80 damage on everyone. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Eric's, uh, you know, Eric is good. His spells are good. I honestly should increase his mag max magic or something. Multi-heal. Wow, you sure did heal yourself. That's for sure, bud. Be a real bummer if I, uh, I don't know, boulder, boulder broke you or something. There we go. I'm honestly surprised he didn't just get one shot by Jade. Gonna be real. Jade hurts, like, a lot. Sizzle! Alright. He's a little tankier than I thought he'd be. Oh, I say that, and he's he's already having a rough time. Let me Miracle Slash you real quick. Ba-bam. 28 health, please. I need to get Rab some offensive, offensive magic or something. Oh my god. He's trying to kill Eric immediately. It's not gonna work. Eric's a bit too strong. There we go. Uh, let's see here, Eric. What we got here? How are, we'll just, you know what? Just hit him with old faithful, old reliable. You're just gonna get healed. We'll be fine. I'm assuming it's agility that determines which party members get to move first. I don't, I don't remember what stat controls that, but I should probably increase Rab's ability to go first if I can. Oh, there he goes. Pretty right here. Tony's not going to love Eric. You gotta stop sometime. He's only here because you're all whining and begging Tony to use Eric because, oh, he's the strongest party member. Uh, Eric is here out of my own free will. I'll have you know that nobody influenced my ability to put this stinky little man in my party. Silver Orb. There we go. That's all of them, right? Eric is here purely for eye candy. Okay? Like, don't get me ra wrong. I said, I was about to say, don't get me rab. But I would like to be wrapped. Uh, don't get me wrong, Rab is sexy. Rab is hot, but like... Eric's got that fucking desert drip. I'm a sucker for a desert drip. Uh, orbs collection is complete. Head east through the, s the sneer felt and climb the first forest to open a path to Yggdrasil. Okay. Thank god it is very clear in what it wants me to do. Is that... That's a chest I already opened. Okay, cool. little icon down that way. Okay. Go ahead and we will go. Interesting. Three pages. Let's see. Probably the campsite is... Wait, mm, mm. The sneer felt. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That was an orb, alright. Rab is sexy and he is hot. Everybody loves Rab. He's very handsome. All right, we're coming up. We're coming up on that pivotal moment, that pivotal point in gameplay. God, Serena must be fucking chilly as fuck in <laughs> her fit. Eric too. Uh, we're coming up on that pivotal moment that Crash told us was going to happen. He said that there was a, a turning point in the story. Right? In the in, well, I don't think you used story. I don't want to misquote you. I think you said turning point in the game. Right? So. I said I would go up to this point. I feel like that's fair, you know. If this is what you're t if you move the goalpost after this, I will actually beat you up. Okay, let's see. We need to go through the sneer felt and then go through the first forest. It says so. I'd imagine that's the Arborean Highlands, right? That seems to be because like, is it the Hexwood? Actually, am I going through the Hexwood? What if Yggdrasil's? A shitty boss with no context at a cutscene that baits you into thinking Rab is dead. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the Arborean Islands. Okay, cool. Because it didn't make any sense to go to the Hexwood, because I already been through there. I wish I could free this dragon, though. Oh my god. The horse running on the ice. It's very slippery. Oh! Here's a fun, fun little thing that I did. I opened up Cyberpunk 2077. I've never played it before. I opened it up and played a couple hours for the first time the other night. Uh, the game is, is still pretty buggy. My companion, AI companion, who was part of a part of the quest, right? It's not like I chose to bring a random third party in there. No, the game 
required me to have this guy, Jackie, with me. Uh, he Apos spawned inside of some lockers next to where we were supposed to be, like, meeting up. And then when the cutscene started, like, the interact- the in-game interaction cutscene started, he just exploded the entire locker. Because the game didn't know how to register a solid lo object, the locker. Interacting with the solid, physical moving object of a player model. So it just exploded the lockers all around him, sending all of the shit in the environment just everywhere. It literally looked like someone just exploded a bomb, or like went in there with a leaf blower. Uh, and then the game gave me the option to drive a car, and I'm gonna be as honest as I can. The driving controls are some of the fucky wuckiest I have I have encountered in quite a long time. It's not not bad. I mean, I only have the default car, so like. You know, it's gonna have wacky handling, I guess, but like, holy shit, dude. Absolutely insane. Damn, I guess these enemies don't count as, as metal guys, that's fine. It's not like they can hurt me all that much. I, you know, I say that, and then he hits me for 37, so... I am truly the fool here. 37's not a lot, but it is if they all focus on one target. They're just kind of too stupid to do that. Oh my god. They're fast. They get to go up very quickly. Burps up some gas. Holy shit. Okay, that's actually a problem. The gas is a bit of an issue. At least Jade hits for a fuckload. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna boom them all. Get fucking big boomer. That didn't kill them, surprisingly. I thought it would've. Stun him? I thought that was gonna stun him. <laughs> they made the game from literally bricks your console bugged to Skyrim bugged, and like, it's still kinda bad. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. I guess you could say it quite the explosive personality. What do you mean the metal enemies are not metal? They're literally robots. I know. Fucking so stupid. What's even the point? What's even the point of metal being a classification? They're literally robots. What are they what are they made of? Are they made of some sort of like plastic nanofiber? Am I playing Cyberpunk 2077 right now? Is that why this game has wonky ass mount controls just like 2077? But I mean, the game I mean the game is enjoyable. I I'm in I'm playing it, you know, I played it in like an hour burst and then I played it again in like an hour burst today. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a video game. It's kind of fun. I've been trying to do a stealth character because I like stealth in video games, and it's... Okay, I, I guess. Um, I set the game to the hardest difficulty, so that makes it a little more fun. It just feels like the world is very unreactive to the things I do. Like, if I'm driving the car around, I can literally run over civilians, crash cars into people. I can do anything I want. And no one stops me. And the game will tell me often. It'll be like, be careful about police. But I've just straight, sh just ran people over. Just plowed through traffic. And no one has come to stop me. No police have shown up. And I don't even think the game has police. I think it's just lying to me. It's gaslighting me for sure. So, you know, it's a, it's a video game. I've been trying to, you know, try out different games in my spare time. I really, I just, I really needed to after the fucking horrible work week I had a few weeks ago, like where I got horribly sick. The top of that mountain trail. It's breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. What a, what a fantastic cyberpunk reference in this video game, guys. Am I right? Epic, uh, big chungus Keanu Reeves. God, I feel physically ill. I'm making myself ill. Referencing these horrible Reddit memes. It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers, the ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches, and of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. It's okay. It's, I mean, I wouldn't say it's dull. appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. 
I hope everyone is actually pleased to see me, and it's not one of those ironic twists where everybody fucking hates me and calls me the Dark Spawn, because that would be kind of sad. Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. Mm. One life ends. Got into an ancient, like, begins. Greek, Roman esque land. Oh, when are we gonna get to America land? Yggdrasil. When are we gonna get to the guns <laughs> in this game? This new bud, this guns and tanks and McDonald's. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your when are we gonna get to McMoria's? That's what I'm waiting for. When can we get a McRib at McMoria's for increased status effects? With the chance of your character getting diarrhea. I, that's what I'm waiting for. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? They return, and one of them is a furry now. How awful. We should never let anyone leave. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. It's really not. A, a witch stole your anyway, youth and made you tiny. Not right really now. not that big. What is important is Easy. that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. It's me, the most boring character in the party. Oh, can it really be him? Can it really be the walking milk toast himself? Oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. These motherfuckers have a whole ceremony for one baby being born? Benedictus, Jesus Christ. High priest of Arboria. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, cool. on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows who it is. I would expect the Pope to know about the, you know, basic concept of Satan, you know? I see. So this Mordigan... He seriously doesn't know who it is? Jesus Christ, this guy's a terrible Pope. And and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes. But we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. It, ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the Luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. All, right. All, All is right. now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. The path to the forest now it's beyond lies the cathedral. Beyond. Of course, I as you know, you I'll there. wait for you there. Okay. When you have all six I've already got them all. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fucking climb this tree. Tony, that's just a baptism. Yeah, alright. I guess that's fair. Baptism is just, you know, half drowning a child. This this you know, this place seems comparatively a little more a little more safe for children, I would say. Why is everyone here dressed like Greek bitches while Veronica and Serena got that German mountain drip? That's a great question. Their traveling gear looked nothing like any of the clothes here. You bring up a very good point. I just want to explore the houses a bit and see if there's any loot here. Also, out of curiosity, do they have a weapons store here? Ah, they don't. That's actually pretty cool. I wouldn't expect this, like, holy site to have armor or weapons for sale. I'm kind of happy that there isn't. I think that's a nice little thematic touch to the area. Definitely a, a, a neat little detail. Child. Let's get going here. 
I am ready to go. I am all set. I've got all the orbs. I just need to loot all of these people's houses, and then we're we're getting in there. We're climbing this fucking tree today. That's the plan. We're climbing today. Nothing's gonna stop me unless Twitch decides that I'm not allowed to stream because it's a very good platform where nothing bad ever happens, and streaming works all the time. All the time it works. Never never do they just stop fucking working for like a solid 20, 24 to 48 hours. Never has that happened before. Ever. So we're gonna be all set. Here we go. There's some loot. What do we got? Uh, finds a saint's ashes. He puts it in his bag. Let me uh, let me check my items real quick. Cool. All right. Tony twenty twenty two as he breaks into someone's house to loot their belongings. <laughs> I would never. You think I would go into someone's house to loot their belongings? Wrong. Well, I don't know if you've seen the articles. I'm the guy who breaks into people's houses to shave their cat and leave. That's me. All those pictures on the internet you've seen of cats where, like, just their heads are shaved and nothing else, that's me. I've done that. Every cat that's ever been shaved, it's been me. Every time. I'm the Vince McMahon of shaving cats' heads. It was me, Austin. It was always me! Alright. Uh... Are these references to old games? That would be kind of cool. They're incredible. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Idrisil, one sent to save us from disaster. That's definitely Our not what that one says. Is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago, in the Age of Heroes. I'm spoiling myself. At that time. Well, thanks for dropping by, Chris. Appreciate you. Set by a being of purest darkness. A being who... And so, oh, hey. the world tree that looks like one of the old characters. Children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Wow, that's almost Serena. Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. Just because they have the same name? You could have named any... any person Serenica. Have they just been naming women Serenica, hoping that they would eventually that find the Luminary? How many Serenicas have they sent the out, who just got killed halfway through? Probably a lot, I would imagine. Alright, let me through to the first forest. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Put me in, coach. You must defeat him. Looks like one of those Dragon Quest characters I have a deep-seated connection with. <laughs> Serenica is a popular name here. God, I wish I could get a better outfit for Silvando. He he deserves a better outfit, I'm not gonna lie. Something with like his nipples exposed, but like everything else covered, you know? Just like little windows for his nipples, but nothing else. I want him to basically be wearing one of those t-shirts from your local cable company where they can just open it up and then, you know, give the nips a rub. Oh, what are these little guys? I'm sorry, there's just aliens here? And dragons! Very cool. What a no what a normal place to be. Everything here is definitely safe. Hello. Sorry, this fucking Pokemon-esque motherfucker here. A mini metal. That's good. I'm gonna get that staff eventually when I get those medals. Let's take a look at the map. Here. We got Arboria, we just go south and loop around, and the first forest will be right there. Can I shoot that dragon out of the sky? I can. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to do it, because that seems like a rude thing to do. We're just going to keep going. Alright, let's take a little... Take a little sit here. Rest into the morning and get going. Like Josuke's shirt with the nipple zippers. <laughs> yes! Yes, exactly like that. 
I think more clothing needs to accentuate the nipples, you know, on men. Men get the get the absolute honor of having exposed nipples in public, which women unfortunately don't get the bonus of. And I feel like men's fashion really isn't capitalizing on that. It just it just isn't. We have these perfectly good nipples that are good for nothing. You suck them and milk doesn't come out of them, so they're basically worthless. But you know what they can be? They can be used for accessorizing. I feel like men need to accessorize with their nipples more often, and I'm tired of pretending like it- Oh, okay. It's like a big circle, we just loop around and we'll be right there. Cool. I'm tired of pretending. Catch me, uh, catch me cutting holes. Oh shit, it's this guy again. That's really annoying, actually. I just complained about that being an issue. Catch me uh, cutting holes in all my shirts for future streams, so uh, so my nipples are exposed. I'm gonna I'm gonna look like Regina from fucking <laughs> from fucking Mean Girls when they pull that prank on her where they cut the nips off her shirt. They're good for biting. That's true. But then again, every part of the human body is good for biting. That's not a spe you know special talent that only nipples can serve. Though they do, they do, you know, fulfill that role very nicely, I, I will say. Got no complaints there. Be the change you want to see. You're not sucking hard enough, to Tony. His nipples will leak eventually. Listen, we've all been there. We've all, we've all been, you know, little virgin boys who, who haven't had the opportunity to suck a man's nipple. And finally... You know, after long times of courtship, you know, a couple dates, at least three, I'd imagine, probably, I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're a slut and they give it up on date one, who fucking knows. Anyway, eventually, you get, you get to the point where you get to suck on that nipple, right? And you end up biting a bit too hard and sucking a bit too hard, and you're like, where's the milk? I'm not lactose intolerant, where's my fucking milk? Right? And you just get blood. And and listen. If we've all been there. We've all, you know, took a little... You know, and got blood in there. And that's when you learn that men don't produce milk. And that's kind of a problem. It's the same thing. When you get into a fight with a woman in public. You know, maybe she cuts, cuts in front of you at the Friendly's ice cream counter line. I know nothing gets me more heated than getting cut, up, cut in line at Friendly's, right? But you get, you know, you get cut in line... And you go to kick her in the balls, and, and, you know, you kick her, and you kick her, and you kick her, your foot sinks in a bit. It's not, you know, it's not like when you kick someone in the balls, you know, the balls are springy, so they just boing, boing your shoes away, you know? You go to kick a woman in the balls, there's no balls there, that's when you learn women don't have balls. Spoilers for any of you guys who didn't know that, because you guys don't have friendlies where you live, so you don't have a place to get into fistfights. Um, I'm assuming you guys probably have, like, a European version of friendlies. Here, let's ask Dingo. Dingo should help me out. Dingo, do, how do you how do you um how, how do you say how do you say friendly in your language? I need to know where you guys have your fist fights. I need to know the name of the establishment. I'd assume you guys probably just directly translated the word friendlies. I need to know how how do you say friendly in your language, please? Kicker balls, Jaker dick. I know the secrets of bad milk. Wonderful subject to drop in on as the sergeant major walks by my office. I'll listen. Tell your sergeant major, I'll suck his nipples for free, dude. You can tell him I'll do it. I under listen. I get it. I'm a millennial. Millennials don't really like dudes in the military. They don't like cops, right? I think that's fucking stupid. All right. I appreciate the work of our servicemen, and I'm willing to suck their nipples to pr to prove it. I'm willing, I'm willing to go all out for the American military, and even the Navy, you know, I'd, I'd do it for the, I wouldn't do it as well for the Navy, but I'd, I'd do it for them too, I guess. For sure, Air Force, Air Force is dope. <laughs> Gotta get going now, but enjoy the rest of the stream. See you later, Crash, thanks for dropping by. Don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on. Let's call it a night, We've literally huh? rested at the camp, like, twice already. Oh. What do you mean he's tired? I've rested at the camps. Aw, oh. oh, Rab. Why doesn't someone just carry him? So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous.
big magic Serena, tree. Why don't you play that song? Oh, don't you know, don't play that song. The one you always used to play when we were children. Are they gonna do that thing where like she's singing, but I have to do the singing myself? Because if that's happening, I'm straight up skipping the cutscene. If there's an actual song here, I'll let it play. But if there isn't a song, I'm straight up just skipping the cutscene. I'm I'm not doing that. Very pretty. Military and the Navy. <laughs> Their entire budget goes into man milking machines. Crash so leaving before the cutscenes get bad so we don't bully him. <laughs> God. Oh, wait. Venlig is friendly. Dango, do you go to your local Venlig and, and get into fights there? There's some kind of or are you more of a spectator, you know? Life comes from? Taking video on your phone. It's okay. Yes. Been on both sides dies, of the aisle. I understand. Their withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. So if someone lit the tree on fire, would everyone just die? I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? A little tootie flutie. Mm -mm. No. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. I'm gonna be honest, this cutscene's the best one in the game because it's the only one that hasn't used music we've heard eight billion times well, so far. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? I get into fights at the local Jaffs, which was hard when it was shut down, but it reopened at one of the four local pizza shops. Hmm? See you later, Void. Thanks for dropping by. We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't back. they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm. I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <laughs> but I hope they do. I mean, Veronica got turned into a small little furry, so she'll probably live a little bit longer. 